Hi, my name is Paul. I'm the support lead here at Sift and Practice Web, and today I'm going to talk to you about page speed and why it's important on your website. Now, what is page speed? Page speed can be described in either page load time, the time it takes to fully display content on a page, or time to first byte, how long it takes for your browser to receive the first byte of information from the web. Google has also indicated site speed, and as a result, page speed is one of the signals used by its algorithm to rank pages. Now, what that means is when Google crawls your site, it will take page speed into consideration and mark you higher if your page speed is quicker. And as you can imagine, page speed is also critical to user experience. Pages with a longer load time tend to have a higher bounce rate and lower average time on page. Research shows after one second, people will become distracted and after 10 seconds, they will leave your site completely. You may have the best site in the world, but if no one can view the content, that's no good. Now, what can you do about it? The biggest factor for slow page time are large images on your site. If you're uploading blogs, staff profiles, it's important to have the right sized and optimized images for the web. So today I'm gonna to show you how to resize and optimize images using a free tool called Pixel. Pixel is a free online tool for resizing and optimizing images. You can see the address on the top here. Now, once you've reached this page, scroll down, click Pixel Editor and click Launch Web App. When resizing images, we want to open an image from computer, locate your image and click Open. Now you will see the image is loaded in the window. If we go to save this image now, you'll see it's struggling because the image is so large. So this is nearly six megabytes and way too big for the web. If we have a look at the size of the image, you'll see it's 4,000 by two and a half thousand pixels, which is again, far too large for the web. For the width, we will change this to around 1200. And as you can see, the image is resized. Now we will click save again. And as you can see, the size has dramatically dropped. If we find a happy medium between quality and size, images should not, shouldn't be larger than 200 kilobytes. Okay, so we have quality 92% and size 185 kilobytes, which is ideal for the web. Save and save your image. Now your image is ready for the web. If you are uploading staff profiles and images to your blogs, you will need to resize the images to be the largest they will need to be on the web. If we click image, image size, you can see here the width and the height are quite large for a small staff profile. If we change the width to 300 pixels and click OK, you will see the image has changed size. Now we will look what it looks like at 100%. As you can see, this is the right size for a staff profile on your website. Click File and Save. And again, if we up the quality, you can see the size is 65 kilobytes, which is perfect for the web. Click OK and save. If you still need help, remember, be sure to check out our support center for other guides and videos with this address support.practiceweb.co.uk or drop us an email on support at practiceweb.co.uk and we'll be happy to help.